you pick up the phone and say, hello, you don't expect this from the other side. Hello, yes, this is dog. Cartoon becomes semi-reality as animal tech researchers at universities in Scotland and Finland experiment with dog phone. No, it doesn't look anything like a human phone. It's a soft ball with a technology device on the inside of it. Actually buried inside a tennis ball within the ball. When Ileana Hersky Douglas's dog, Zach, moved the ball, it triggered the nearby dog height laptop to ring. Zach's owner answered the call and the two would end up face to face with audio and video if he didn't ignore her. During a 16-day experiment, Zach the Lab called often. It was about five times a day. And when he didn't call... He wouldn't ring me through the day and I'd be thinking, oh, he usually rings me at this time. Commercial companies like Pet Chats have tried combining remotely operated treat dispensers with a paw call that sends the owner a text alert. <laughs> But no one really knows if pets are intentionally calling their owners. Some days he would sort of lean on the ball and then he would ring me from this, either with his butt or with his shoulder. Maybe this is all just one big doggy butt dial. After all, dogs like to say hello from behind. Ginny Mos, CNN, New York. We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love.